everyone, this is Maggie with another craft for you. Today we are going to make a decorative tassel. Um, I've seen a lot of these lately. A lot of people use them to decorate tiered trays. Um, I just use them around the house as cute little decorations. You can make them any colors, any theme you'd like. Um, what you're going to need is a bunch of these wood beads. These are uh, 20 millimeter size the ones I'm using and different color paint. These are the colors I used. I'm going to be doing a watermelon one. I do recommend using acrylic or chalk paint. The tempera paint, while it looks nice, um, it takes a lot of coats. It's not great to work with, but I just wanted to show you the colors that I had. And I've already painted all my beads. I have green, the hot pink, and the white. You are also going to need a wood disc. You can find these in the craft stores with holes already in them. Um, I was not able to find them for a little while, so I just bought these and drilled a hole and painted it white. So you're going to need all the wood pieces and to paint them whatever colors you want. That's what you're going to start with. I already have um, a decal ready also. You can use marker on here if you don't have a cutting machine like I do. You can use marker, you can use um, stencils to draw a pattern on here, you can put stickers, already made decals, decorate it however you want to decorate it. This is the decal that I made, fresh watermelon. So I'm going to put that on here. Just make sure you have it centered or however you'd like to put it on here. Just make sure it's in the right spot. I'm actually going to need to move my top word a little bit. So I'm just going to very carefully cut it apart. There we go. So you wanna press your decal on. If you are putting a decal on like this using transfer paper, I do recommend giving your wood ample amount of time to dry. That way you're sure you're not going to peel up any of your paint while you're doing this. can always touch it up, of course, but I want to try to not have to. And there's my disc, all ready to go. So now you're going to cut your twine. I'm just kind of eyeballing it. Um, like I said, I have 21 beads that I'm going to use. It's okay if you wind up with extra. Um, and what you want to do is Take one end and stick it through your, your disc here.
and then feed the other end through. And just make sure it's nice and tight. And now you'll start feeding your beads on. You are going to have a little bit of extra twine from the other string at the beginning that's going to hide inside your bead. That's not a problem. And you'll just put these on in whatever order you like. Again, the length is up to you. You can make it shorter, you can make it longer. You can always leave um, some of the beads natural if you want to do that too. I did that for a beach themed one. It can look cute. And when you're putting these on, um, of course, you, you know, you can move them around, but just don't forget um, when we get to the end, you don't. You don't want them to be so tight together because you want it to be able to move around. Sometimes the twine gets caught on the inside if you have a rough interior of your beads, so you just wanna be careful with that. Just got one more. And there you have it. So like I said, make sure when you tie it off at the end, that it is free to move. You wanna double knot it at least um, three times if you want. Also depends on what size beads you're using. Um, so that will determine what size hole you have to make sure it doesn't go through. Um, but we are also going to put a tassel on. I'm gonna show you how to do that. So now you're going to take some more twine. I'm gonna use the same color that I used to string the beads. You can use a uh, different color if you want. And you just want to decide kind of how long you want your tassel to be. You can, of course, always cut it shorter later. And you're just going to fold it, fold it over. You can use your hand to wrap it around if that's easier for you. I just like to I'm very visual, so I like to see exactly or very close to what my tassel is going to look like. So I'm just going to fold this over a bunch of times, as many as you want, um, depending on how thick you want your tassel to be.
think that's pretty good. I'm gonna leave myself a little extra at the top to wrap our tassel. So just to give you an idea, I have eight loops at the top of mine. And now you're going to make sure the top loops are all even. It's okay if the bottom ones aren't because we can cut those. And you want to thread it onto your end here. And your longer end that's still connected to the tassel, you're gonna wrap it, wrap the top of it like so. As tight as you can. And you'll just keep wrapping it around. If you feel more comfortable tying it off, you can. I, um, I just looped mine, uh, wrapped mine around it like this, and, and it stayed pretty well. What you do want to do is glue down the end of it, though. So I'm just going to use my hot glue gun here. Definitely be careful. And you're gonna tie, tie the top here. I tie, I'm tying two knots just to make sure it's not going to come apart. Okay. And now you'll cut your excess off. And now we're gonna cut the ends of our loops. And you can see they're not even, quite even, but that's okay. If you like it like that, you can leave it. Um, I'm actually gonna cut mine a little shorter. And there you have it. I hope you have enjoyed this craft and this fun, colorful piece will decorate your home this summer. And I will see you in our next video.